Our cultural heritage, as bequeathed to us by our forebears, gives us a sense of identity as we express these cultures in our food, in our music, in our dances, in our fashion, and in everything that makes us who we are. But whatever we do with this heritage, we determine its survival or its extinction. Are we going to pass down this cultural heritage our forebears have given to us down to the next generation, or are we going to let it perish with us? Well, for me, I've made it a point of duty to ensure that I share this cultural heritage with you and with everyone who cares to listen. In every country I visit, I pay a visit to the museums, which are microcosms of the society, to explore, learn, and share the cultural heritage of the people I visit with you. It's against this backdrop that I'm standing today right in front of the National Museum of Cameroon here in Yaoundé, Central Africa. Well, some people argue that it's West Africa, but today I'm going in there to learn about the cultures of the people of Cameroon and to share that with you. So if you are interested in preserving and passing down our cultures and our histories as Africans, you are welcome to this channel. My name is Virtue Grace. If you are coming by for the first time and, you are not, and you've not subscribed, kindly click on that subscribe button and tap on the bell, okay? And if you are returning, thank you for always coming back. I love you guys so much, okay? If you are not following me on Instagram, head over at Virtual Grace and follow me because I have behind the scenes there as well. Now that you've subscribed and followed me on Instagram, come let's go to the museum. The National Museum of Cameroon in 1960, right up to 1982, it was the presidency. Okay. So in 1982, President Paul Biya, I sorry, Amadou had built it today. He left this place in 1982. Okay. Went to it today. This place was left for six years. It became the National Museum in, eight, uh, in 1988. But there was a problem. It was not known to the public. Okay. It was just a national museum where work of art would come, they would gather, they would gather. But the public, a few people know about this place. Up to that year, from 1988 to 2014, when this place became a national museum known to the public, so we are here today in the National Museum. Whatsoever you are going to see here is from the 10 regions that have been regrouped into four cultural zones. Okay. Yes. Like this, let me start with Sawa. Don't Sawa. say it's bias. I'm from there. Hey, oh, okay. I'm just lucky to be there. <laughs> Sawa. The Sawa is made out of Litora Southwest region. Why are they called Sawa? They are the people of the coast. The water, the water around there, they call okay. it Sawa. They just mix this cultural way of explanation. Okay. And then we have the grass field. The grass, the grass field. field, we have the west and the northwest. They are regrouped because of their geographical features and common cultural elements. That's why you see them, they are regrouping like this. Because if you look at the grass field, you see the west and the northwest they almost have the same culture. Okay. Even in their uh, food, dressing, everywhere you see. And then now we go to the forest people. We have the south, we have the east, and the people of the central region. We call them the sour people. They too, they have the same futures. Like if you go, you see forest. Most, even their work of art, you see common identity. They use forest things to produce them. Then we go now to the Sahel. We have the Adamawa, that is in North. Adamawa. There's Adamawa in Nigeria. Yeah, we have Adamawa here. In Ghana, all those areas, we call them the people from Adamawa. We have okay. the North. We have the Far North, that is Extreme North. Mm -hmm. So we call them the Sudan of Sahel. Okay. They, too, they have their own cultural. So those are the four cultural zones we have in Cameroon. Okay. And whatsoever you are going to see here, like instrument, is from the cultural zones. So you don't have to say, where is my own from my own region? If your cultural zone is represented here, it means your region 
is here. Okay. So now we'll start our discussion proper. We are in this hall from the beginning. The instruments you see here, they were not called musical instruments. The artists in those days who produced this instrument, they did not produce this for music. It was for communication. communication. So mostly in tradition, they know about communication instrument, non-musical instrument. But at times go on, it became musical instrument. Why was it non-musical instrument? Because in the past, even now, our body, me, a human being, you standing, we are in musical instrument. I can just start a song and we we'll hit. And then any part to touch, our jaws, everything. I can even make woo, woo, woo. So the thing is coming out. So we did not have anything like musical instrument because we saw man like musical, musical instrument. Ah, I like that. OK, now, we'll go to communication. Communication is the highest level to talk with our deities. In Africa, there are so many gods. Okay. You have gods of the harvest, like the, Facili that fertility. I just want to, I want to bring you, I'm still okay. telling you the musical instrument, how they come about. Okay. Okay. Then I'll pinpoint the different regions, what okay. they used to communicate. Okay? okay? Yes, ma'am. So, now to communicate with our God, I cannot talk the way I'm talking to you. You're not getting me. I cannot come and knock the door as if I'm disturbing the gods. But now when I want to talk, for example, the god of the forest, if I want to talk with him, I touch the vet. I will take the vet. This, this is vet. Vet is a traditional instrument for communication okay. used by the people of the forest. It's a forest region, this area, forest zone. They use this verb. Okay. You can see calabash. Can I touch? This is bamboo. You are free. Okay. And ropes. And they will have some string. The instrument is used both spiritually and physically. In the physical way, how is vet used? It's used to tell the story. And now you see vet in seven calabash. I was thinking you ask. Yes, yeah, like the bigger one. Yes, this was just to show cultural diversity. Okay. The link we have with other Africa countries, because Equatorial yeah. Guinea, they have vet too. Okay. Even Gabon, they play vet. So their own vet is three color badge, and you can see the one for Cameroon four. four. So we join them. Cultural three, diversity, yes. we have seven nice. color badge. And then this one, and there are Sansas. I don't know where you know West Magical. Oh, my lingo, my way here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You can see oh, oh, like oh, the voice. <laughs> this is Wes. He brought this after he has went to all around the world. Yeah. Say, okay, I've got what I was looking for. Let me honor my country with this okay. saxophone. Okay, so he donated it to yes, the Yes, it's a donation. Wow, that's good. This one is in the palace, a royal Sansa. Calabashes mostly Sudan or Swahili women, they use calabashes to entertain their uh, 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 cows when they want to drag out the milk, milk from them. And they celebrate their cows when they give good yield. Mm. So these calabashes, no half rattles, okay. use them in church, this one is rare own. Mm. This one, everywhere you can see this one, yeah. this casnet, yes. and they have the gongs. Okay. We are still continuing with musical instrument. All this area we really meet musical instrument, musical instrument. There used to be some boards to indicate them. We have aerophone, it's on phone, membrane phone. But now we cannot put it in that way. Why? Because they are mixed with other, inst other uh, uh, items that are not musical instrument. Okay. So if you are come now in this way, I say it was supposed to be. Eh, 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 it's your phones. When you blow it, the air comes out. Aerophone, sorry, here is aerophone. But now we cannot put the board aerophone because all that things that are not aerophone, they are mixed up. Okay. Due to, because they have to use that other part to open an exhibition that will stay for three months. They'll okay. come and take before we arrange this back again. Okay. 
Ichida from for the Lamido, only the Lamido has use right to use that chida. Steel musical instruments mixed with mask. Wow. Here we have our giant max wow. for decoration. Mm. Giant max. This one, the well lit outfit. Giant masks. Mm -hmm. This looks like. It's from the, the bronze. They decorate the entrance yeah. of the palace. Wow. They are images of animals. Yes. Animal images. Mm -hmm. Animal, bird, mm -hmm. lizard. Mm -hmm. All of them, they have their function, their meaning. And their meanings. Mm -hmm. Oh. Drums are pair of female male, so you cannot hit a particular drum and enjoy the rhythm. So drums to the talk. Mm. This drum is from Libya Alem. It has been about 3,000 years. Wow. During the stone period, that is where they fed this drum. Mm. And this drum, the people in this area, let me say you have a problem. When they have a crisis, let me say an epidemic. Mm. They will bring either a goat, fowl, pour out their hearts, mm. and then they believe the gods oh, answer yeah. them. So they will go. So if you see the blood, all the blood, you say, no human blood, blood for animals. animals. We had Salinolo. So this is Salignolo, the calabash of Salignolo. Yeah. It's a lady from the forest zone. Yeah. Here, the central region, Yaoundé. Yeah. He plays his music with calabash. The thing is, we Africans, we are so creative and innovative. We, like, we use things around us to yes. create great things that out of it. them. That music, culture, food, everything. A drum so father, beautiful. mother, child. Yeah. You can play the mother and the child in any occasion, but this one, the particular occasion that you can play this one. If okay. you can play this father. This father is our communication line, like telephone. Hmm. You don't need credits. You don't need electricity, because we never know those things. We don't know electricity. We don't know. So how? Is a communication being made? It's like this. For example, you know us Africa, we mostly know by the name, our traditional name. <laughs> For example, they went to the farm, and maybe something happened, or a miss away, hmm. I went and discovered herself in another village. Hmm. And then in our old village, we were looking for her. Hmm. For her, sorry. We start, they will use their name. B. B is missing yeah. in the tradition. Uh, right? Yes. B. B is missing. And then the next person, the next village to listen and got the information. Like, okay, they are they'll say, okay, something. yeah, they'll go and search. When they finish their search, if you are there, mm. they'll come. She B is here. Is here. B is here. Look at the way we communicate. Yes, communication is great. Yeah. And it's not the sound there. If I want to hit this thing, the whole thing I will know. Yes. We were very much civilized even before the European Yes. Machine that they used to produce it. To, to what? Weave. No, to weave. Okay, mm -hmm. weaving. Traditional textile. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. This rope puts it very, very well. You put the rope, pass it, boom. Mm. Traditional mask. Okay. They call it juju. Mostly in the north where you are from there. When the juju is out, ladies, don't be out. Women are not allowed to see this juju. Mm. Why, why do women not see it? It's a secret society made only for men. Men. Except you're initiated. If you are not initiated, they will announce. Because this juju come out in the night. They announce it a day before. Yeah. Tomorrow, maybe they will decide to say country Sunday, this should come out. They have announced it. Then there are some women or some people will say, I must see it. Hey, what do they hide them? You go and you go and peep. 
if you are praying and you born a child like this. Yes. It's a secret society. Is it your society? This view from here is really um, beautiful. Like you get the city, the city of Yaoundé. They don't go Namibo. From here. No one is greater than the other. So we have the presidency, prime ministry, national assembly where decisions are, are taken, and then Supreme Court. So those are modern power. When we come down to traditional power, we sell our different thrones. Hmm. All these are thrones. This community is very rich. Yes. They sleep and sit in money. This is cowries. Mm -hmm. This one is from Bamun. Whenever you see a work of art like this with two head snakes, it's from Bamu. Mm. It is not witchcraft. It's just, let me say, they're just giving glory to God. Once upon a time, they had a problem with the Bamele case. You know, the Bamele case, there are people who want to increase, and the Bamu to want to increase, they want multiplication. So when they had that problem, the Bamele case, pretend to send some warriors to go and fight the, the Bamu. Whereas the Bamuntu, they took their own warriors without leaving others in the village. Then the Bamleke invade the village to come and fight the children and the women in the village. Unfortunately for them, they were defeated. And then those who went to out to go and fight the, 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 the war out, they also won the war. So they decided to take the two head snake, like they told them, to say, we are strong, you come behind, we stink you, you come in front, we yeah. stink you. Wow. This is salt and joy. Okay, this one is from a sour. Sour? Mm-hmm. A bongo. It's from sour. Looks like the Ashantis too in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, similar. No, yes, not yeah. Then the material cotton comes from Adamawa. Adamawa. And then the Northwest Nang. Buy the curtains, already make the material because they, they are the people with. So they are just trying to show you can see when the phone will sit in the international world because it has become international. Mm. And then the leg is the skin of a panther. Mm. And he's seated on the head of able men, not children, mm. mature men. You see yes. the men they are mature. And they're there. The wealth of the community, elephant talks, they are lawful. But in front of his palace, they are decorated with it. And then the wealth of the, the community, the carries is in his hand. Mm. Everything. He has everything and authorities in his hand. Mm. So here yeah, they are just trying to communicate that don't see yourself right up there and think you are the overall. Everything. Yeah. Remember. The people. The only so wherever you go, remember the way that took you there. Yes. So that is it. They're just trying to give us a small wisdom of life. Yeah. Various gods from the forest uh, people here, god of fertility. If you married in Africa, when you don't have a child, you start to ask, what, what happened? Why is this, this? Yeah. And this long, Same. last Nyamangoro, yeah, this name. It's very fertile. If you go yeah. to the market and you buy, they remove, you see the number of, if you meet the one that is mature, the number of eggs that will come out. So they believe that if they produce, they mix up a concussion and put there and give to you, Dre, you that spirit fertile. will come into you and you'll be fertile immediately. Slave trade and slavery, these are what the Germans, the, the white, the European will bring, give to our leaders with gunpowder, whiskey, and they will take it. The National House of Sergeant Kamara, like, like the National Assembly, this yeah. house, this chair is from there. In 1958, Queen Elizabeth was supposed to visit Southern Cameroon because she was in Nigeria. By then, the portion she took, that is Southern Cameroon, not just Southwest, yeah. she was ruling it in accordance with Nigeria, where his uh, leader, Loga, was there. Yeah. So when he visited his territory, that was Nigeria, he said, okay, let me go and visit that small portion I have in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in that year, 1958, the Mount Cameroon was erupting. So when well, you know, even normal, normal, when you are in Nigeria, I you cite Cameroon, mm -hmm. 
You can see when you see Mark, when the place is clear, you see Mount Kamaru, you think that you are closer to there. Mm. So when she saw the, the flame, say, hi. Cameroon is burning. Hmm. She cannot go to Cameroon. In that year, 1919 to 1961, British were still in Cameroon. Hmm. Why France gave her portion independent in 1960? Hmm. Then now you can see, in 1961, they took Cameroons, they come together, they had the Federal Republic of Cameroon. Until 1972, then they were using two stars. Because they took Cameroon, they have come together, they used two stars. Okay. When we have a unitary state, they remove one of the stars. Mm. They use now one star. That was 1972 to date. We are having one star. That is the evolution of Cameroon. Mm. All these stands, they are stands from the time of the Gaulle, British, uh, French Cameroon. Mm. We are using. And then now we have our national anthem the correct version. Okay. This is a former version, the beginning of the national anthem. There's a small story behind the national anthem of Cameroon in 1928 in a teacher's training school in Falasi here in the center region. A teacher gave an assignment to a, the, to a class and said, write something about Cameroon. Write something about Cameroon, write something about Cameroon. Three students came out. O Cameroon this, O Cameroon that, O Cameroon that. They try to join it and bring out a song. Whenever De Gaulle, De Gaulle was from uh, France. It was just like the, a minister that would come from France to come and see the portion of France in Cameroon. Mm. Whenever De Gaulle visits French Cameroon, they will sing that song. Whenever De Gaulle visit until 1961, in the Fumban Conference, when they went there, they said, OK, we are now one Cameroon. The two uh, federated states, they have come together. Let's sing this song. When the French were singing, the English could not sing. Yeah. Until Bernard Fowler said, no. He took the national anthem. You can see the French version. If you know how to read French, you will mm -hmm. see you cannot be glorifying a country and be talking about barbaric, all those things. So Benafolon took his time from this French version mm. and wrote in the English version, clear. Remove some of the wrong words they were using there, and then he corrected them. The French now restates the way that Benafolon have already corrected back to their own version. Mm. So you have now. National Anthem, Cameroon, uh, English and French, sorry. And by then, it was not National Anthem, it was a song. So as time go on, they said, no, let's just use it like a, a, a hymn for our country. Mm. So that's what you here to do. I said, oh, Cameroon. If we were to sing the version of the French version, we say nonsense. <laughs> Can I be glorified? In French, is it? <laughs> You cannot say down the barbaric. We appreciate a country. You talk of a country that is in. Oh, Cameroon, don't cradle. Then now, when they follow wrote the right one and they follow it oh, and they were saying, they sang it and emerged. So that is the version now we have been using up to date. And in this particular hall, this is where President Amado Ajo was receiving his visitors. That is why you see some of the chairs. They were chairs of 1960s. They are still there. We are just maintaining them. And here you see the emblem of our country, the motto, the shield, the anthem, the flag, green, red, yellow, and the museum white, all, all, all. This is our symbol of state. Wherever you go in an, any country, you see any of these symbols, Cameroon. you don't know it's Cameroon. You don't need somebody to tell you. So we call the state symbols. State symbols. OK. Now this artist is still on Cameroon, Try to explain Cameroon through his work of art. Hmm. When the Germans left, we had two Cam three Cameroons. We have French Cameroon, British Cameroon, Northern Cameroon. This is after they have sent the Germans out, 18, 19, 18. We have now two federated states. Hmm. Southern British, uh, Southern Cameroon, French Cameroon, they form out the Federal Republic of Cameroon. 
1972, we no more have the Federal Republic. It became a unitary state, the United Republic of Cameroon, because they thought it wiser. We are one. Yeah. Even though we're separated by colonial master, we have decided to come back to two federated states. Why? We're not two federated states. We just come back to one as we were from the origin. Then the head of the United Republic of Cameroon by that time was President Amadou Aijo. He saw agriculture to be the backbone of Cameroon economic. So he decided to come out with a program they called Operation Green Revolution in 1973. Operation Green Revolution was operating in the form that if you are a farmer, you bring the best crop, the best harvest. Mm. Let me say if it's a bunch of planted, the biggest, yeah. cassava, the biggest, and then we we'll give you some incentive to go and continue the agriculture. So that pushed so many people into agriculture. Even this lady coming from the farm with a baby behind yeah. and a basket on it, her head. Yeah. Yes. And then now the food we have a lot. They say, okay, use their two language like a means of expression. We have bilingualism here. This one now is just a comparison. The pain a woman will go through, childbearing, they compare it with the pain the nationalists went through.